Oh hi, I'm the heretic. So it's Christmas time, a joyous time of year where families get together and do things. Something about trees and ham. In Christian faith, Christmas celebrates the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, God's only Son sent to die to redeem us from sin. The celebration has adopted many pagan traditions over the years. For example, the evergreen trees were a symbol of eternal life for Celtic Druids, and a representation of Ra's triumph over death to the ancient Egyptians. Saturnalia was the Roman harvest festival celebrated during the solstice as well, and it's fair to say the date was adopted from it. Historians and theologians actually have no idea the calendar period Jesus was actually born in, but we're here now. In our modern society, we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior with cartoons about talking snowmen and 200-year-old obese men who watch you in your sleep. Suffice to say, I am not in the Christmas spirit this year. It doesn't help that we hear the same songs on the radio at stores this time of year over and over and over and over again. I mean, they aren't bad. In fact, some of the songs are actually pretty good, usually. But some songs are worse than others. And nothing, I mean nothing, takes you out of the Christmas spirit like hearing that noise blaring out to assault your ears. With this in mind, I've come up with a top 5 worst Christmas songs list. Now just to clarify, this isn't a complete list of all the worst Christmas songs, just the ones that I, personally, am familiar with and happen to dislike. So Murder City Xmas by Insane Clown Posse, though a horrible song in my opinion, won't be on this list. Also, keep in mind, this is just my opinion. I'll explain my grievances, but don't take anything I say as a reason to start disliking songs you happen to like. Anyways, let's hop right in. Little Drummer Boy Covers by Various Artists The original Little Drummer Boy was written in 1941 by a teacher named Catherine Kennicott Davis. It would not see its rise into popularity until 1958. Here's the thing, the original track is awesome. Arguably one of my personal favorite Christmas songs, as the melody is pleasant and the story just can't help but make you smile. However, many musicians have attempted to do their version of the track over the years and they're all terrible. Whitney Houston, Bob Seger, and Justin Trudeau, excuse me, Justin Bieber, among others, have all attempted to remix this holiday classic and I don't know why, but it never works! The melody is ruined, especially when they try to drive up the tempo and the lyrics usually sound very forced. The charm of the 1958 original is just lost. Though I can appreciate the effort these beloved artists had put into adding their own style and flair to the original, it just never works. Like, ever. Little Saint Nick by the Beach Boys. It's the Little Saint Nick. Between the tinny, shrill voice of the singers, the atonal noises, and the snooze fest of a melody, this song is one I actively avoid listening to, with hardly any redeeming qualities. I mean, why is Santa Claus called Little Saint Nick? I mean, have you seen the guy? Santa's a pretty big boy. I know I'm being pedantic, but I can't get over that. But to be fair, there's really not much more for me to say. At least nothing that isn't a general commentary on the Beach Boys as a band. I don't like their sound. In fact, I strongly dislike it. I know a lot of people will like this song and like the Beach Boys and that's good for them. But I remind you, this is just my opinion. I don't like the Beach Boys. End of story. Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer by Various Artists Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But 
as for me and Grandpa, we believe. The story in the song is that Grandma got drunk on eggnog and was killed by one of Santa's reindeer. By any measure, this is a tragedy. Yet the lyrics describe the family not giving a damn. I mean, the most important thing that happens is that the grandson and grandpa, as in her husband, all now believe in Santa Claus. My wife, the love of my life died, but that's okay because I now know that Santa is real. Yay! Also, the lyrics make this song sound like a murder mystery. Outright saying that Grandpa got over the death remarkably fast. Now we're all so proud of Grandpa. He's been taking this so well. See him in there watching football, drinking beer and playing cards with Cousin Mel. Almost suspiciously fast. Hmm. Anyways, the family just seems to move on. Not like the kind of life goes on way, but grandma died hours ago and they're acting like nothing happened. What the hell is wrong with these people? Don't they mourn? Don't they have any empathy at all? Even a little? This song is horrifying. Now, maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't appreciate black comedy like others do, and I know for a fact there's niche genres of songs with incredibly depressing lyrics played to upbeat and catchy tunes, but that's not for me. It will never be for me. I, for one, happen to enjoy having reasons to wake up in the morning. Thank you very much. Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Various Artists You better watch out. The original Santa Claus is Coming to Town was written in 1934, and if the Library of Christmas Songs had a biblical canon, this one is the freaking Gospel of Mark. It's not hard to see why. I mean, the melody actually sounds pretty good. And unlike number 5 on this list, the various covers by literally hundreds of artists who have made their own version of this song actually do a good job. So then why include it so high on this list? Better question, have you ever listened to the lyrics? The first lines are literally a warning. I stand corrected. That's a threat. That's something you like to hear in your winter celebrations. Vague threats played to a catchy beat. Even more insidious is that it portrays Santa Claus as someone to be feared. His arrival, something to be dreaded. If this were following the Krampus mythology, where St. Nicholas is accompanied by, well, Krampus, then it would make more sense. But the song never mentions Krampus or even implies him, and the subject we are being warned against is explicitly mentioned to be Santa. Just try to imagine if that same subject were directed at something that's actually threatening. You better watch out, there's burglars around. You better watch out, it's flu season. You better watch out, Grandma Susie's giving away free candy. Now which of those three makes the least amount of sense? I'll let you decide. But you know what? Maybe we should be afraid of Santa Claus, because the song includes lines like this. So Santa Claus is a jolly fat man who lives in the North Pole, whose hobby seems to be watching hatchlings when they sleep. His flagrant disregard for privacy and personal space goes beyond creepy, and in this song I'm genuinely concerned if Santa's a freaking pedophile. These lyrics have always unsettled me, even as a hatchling, so this is admittedly a very personal thing, but even hearing it today, I can't interpret the lyrics as anything other than Santa being a fat weirdo who makes use of a surveillance state even more extensive than the NSA. Is it an objectively bad song? No. In fact, I've highlighted some of its redeeming qualities. But it did frighten me as a hatchling, so this song gets put this low on the list for personal reasons. Now before we continue, here's a few honorable mentions. 
songs that routinely show up on worst Christmas songs list, but I don't think are actually that bad. Baby, it's cold outside. In the wake of intersectional social justice and the Me Too movement, hypersensitivity to perfectly wholesome and completely normal and natural back and forth between the woman and a man in courtship sounds like rape or coercion, politicizing what is actually a decent, fairly wholesome song with a good melody. Christmas Shoes Have you heard of the YouTube channel CinemaSins? A lot of criticism gets thrown their way for creating an over-analysis culture of nitpicking that makes it too difficult to enjoy some forms of media anymore. Whether or not the criticism is justified, I'll let you decide, but damn does this song just get killed by it. Taking what should be a sweet story about a child trying to buy shoes for his dying mother so she can look her best when she goes to meet Jesus and making it look ridiculous. Now do the critics have a point? Sure. The song does try way too hard to hit you in the feels. However, the criticism of the hatchling being an idiot, I mean, you can't expect a little kid whose mother is dying to be rational. And now, for the grand finale, Santa Baby by various artists. Santa Baby, slip a stable under the tree for me. Being an awful good girl, Santa Baby, I'm hurry down the chimney tonight. What were they thinking? Just, what were they thinking? You have a very dull swing melody and instrumentals coupled with very weird lyrics. The song is clearly about a gold digger attempting to court an infant Santa Claus and seduce him into buying her all sorts of extravagant gifts. Starting at fur coats, going all the way to deeds for platinum mines and freaking yachts. Yeah, nothing gets you into the holiday spirit like thoughts. As if unnecessarily salacious lyrics were bad enough, the singer's voice, especially in the Madonna version, is agonizing to listen to. The kind of grating, high-pitched shrill that would coerce any man in a relationship with her to develop a bondage fetish just so they can justify gagging her. This song is about the singer trying to seduce Santa, but how the hell do you seduce any man with a voice like that? Now granted, there are several covers of this song with women who can actually sing, but the Madonna version is the one most often played on the radio. Also, actual talent doesn't salvage the awful lyrics. Songs with bad lyrics can sometimes fall back on strong melodies to compensate, at least somewhat. Instead, Santa Baby has a dated melody that would otherwise put me to sleep. It's unlistenable because I'm snoring through the song, and if there's anything I hate in music, it's boring melodies. Combine that with that horrid squeal, loosely defined as singing and awful lyrics, and you have the makings of the worst Christmas song ever. And that's my list. I'm sick of Christmas music. I've heard them all my life every year starting November. And while most of them are all right, it's worn out its welcome. If we just had one year of no Christmas music, I'd be okay with that. But you know what? To all people of goodwill, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Questions, comments, critique? What do you think deserves to be on this list? What's your favorite Christmas song? Support me on Patreon. Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.